video we shall be dealing with speed reading. What is speed reading and what sort of techniques can you use to enhance your reading speed? As the name suggests, speed reading is the act of reading fast. Everybody tells you to read faster when it comes to competitive exams since you are short of time. But nobody tells you how. In this video, that is precisely what we shall be doing. When we talk about speed reading in technical terms, it involves the exercise of rapidly recognizing words and absorbing them rather than individually reading these words. This is what will actually help you read faster. What we mean by saying that don't read individual words is to ask yourself to stop reading each and every word. What we mean by this is that start seeing words and understanding them rather than reading them in your mind. Know that uttering a word takes longer than understanding a word. For example, when you see a stop sign while riding a bicycle, do you see the stop sign, utter the word stop in your mind and then apply a brake or you immediately see the stop sign and apply brakes? The latter, right? You see the sign, you understand it and you apply the brakes. Then you do not spend the time required to utter it each time. This is also a practice that we want you to internalize while reading your passages in the uh, English section and other sections of the CLAT paper as well, since the majority of the paper is going to require you to read and therefore reading faster becomes even more imperative. Now, reading in your mind is what we call the inner monologue. You in school, you are taught to read in your mind. In fact, they begin with teaching you to read aloud. As you grow up, they ask you to read in your mind. Now that you are almost about to become an adult and will be giving competitive ex exams, you need to learn how to stop this inner monologue. Of course, this is a technique that has been taught to you in childhood and it takes time for these habits to go away. How to ditch these habits is what we shall be discussing in this video. Let's begin with a few techniques that you sh should be using to stop this inner monologue. The first technique is to ensure that you are not regressing while reading the passage. Basically, avoid regression. You may have noticed especially when you're tired or distracted, that when you sit down to read a passage or anything at all, you keep rereading the same thing without really making any sense of it. For example, you would have read three lines of the paragraph, but you might, be, you might have been distracted and zoned out. And the moment I ask you, what have you really read? You won't have an answer. This happens because our minds are used to flitting back and forth, up and down while reading. This is a habit that we need to break. This habit is called regression. How to avoid this is to go back to a childish technique. Pick up a pencil or the tip of your finger and start uh, moving it across the page as and when you're reading that sentence. This will make sure that your mind is not going back to read what you've already covered. This will also give your brain a sense of urgency by telling it that, there, that you have only one shot at reading a particular line and that there is no option to go back and read it again. Therefore, the information must be absorbed in the first time itself. Now let's come to the second technique which is, which is slightly more difficult to incorporate and internalize. It's about avoiding subvocalization. Subvocalization is another word for inner monologue or reading in your mind. Here, what you can start doing is to relax your face, uh, distance what you're reading a little bit and try to take in what a couple of words at a time. Rather than looking at each and every word, try to take a couple of words in every time. You have to make sure your body is not stiff, that you are not feeling tense at the time. Because if you are feeling tense, then you will start trying to take note of each and every word, which will inevitably slow you down. So relax yourself and try to glance over each line of the passage. Try to take in words as in when you are glancing over that line. Then, as and when you reach towards the end of the line, try to use your peripheral vision to take in the words at the end of this line. Gradually, this will become a habit. Even if this feels difficult at this point, you can start by using the next technique, that of mind chunking. One way of avoiding subvocalization is by word chunking, meaning, firstly, start trying to take in three words at a time. Try to look at three words and try to take it in at a go. Practice this over a couple of paragraphs. See three words and take it in. Then see the next set of three words and take it in. This is called word chunking. As and when you get a little familiar with this practice of taking in three words at a time, what you can do is take a piece of paper, the passage you are reading, and 
draw two lines vertically thereby dividing the page into three equal vertical sections then try to take in each vertical section each chunk in one go so basically you would be covering one line in three slits and that is how you will cover each line in the passage by doing this you will have trained your brain to go through each uh, each line by just glancing over it three times this will immediately quicken your reading speed while doing this what you have to keep ensuring is that you are not only reading but also processing information in the beginning this you might feel that these techniques slow you down even more but with practice it will actually aid you for example with sports persons when they initially wear spiked shoes it slows the athlete down but as and when they get used to it that's when it actually makes them faster the same thing will happen with you here as well now finally if you are getting comfortable even with the method of drawing vertical sections down the down the uh, piece of paper what you can then start doing is to imagine these lines in your head and start taking in those few words at one go in your mind this will eventually make you comfortable with the technique of word chunking and you would have stopped the practice of sub of sub vocalization since you would also be moving down the passage much more quickly also with practice try to integrate the regression technique the technique to ensure that you're not regressing and word chunking techniques to speed you up now coming to the next technique which is of assigning subtitles this is unlike any of the techniques that we have discussed till now this will just ensure that you are actively reading the passage and it does not become a passive activity to you what you should do is to assign a subtitle to each paragraph meaning read the paragraph and try to summarize what the paragraph is about into two to three words maximum four right what this will ensure is that you are paying active attention to what what each paragraph is about and also when you're solving questions you will know exactly which paragraph to come back to what you can also do is to start noting micro and macro details about the passage macro details meaning uh, what is the tone used by the author what is the writing style what is the mood of the passage and so on what is the main idea is another example of a macro detail you can also start no noticing micro details uh what is happening where is it happening when is it happening then what happened all of this will make sure that you are paying attention to the details of the passage while doing this it will hold your attention and also make you faster because you're not wasting time in thinking about two things at a time or getting zoned out in the middle finally to give the final push to your preparation make sure to use a timer turn the timer on and try to read one page see how long it takes you reset the timer and try to read the same uh, number of pages or that page in shorter duration make sure that you're reading a different piece of text each time because if you're rereading the same thing you will naturally be faster the next time continue this practice of timing yourself each time and try to beat your past record with time you will be faster certainly